guys, hope you're all doing well. So this week I'm going to be showing you guys my eyeshadow collection and by eyeshadow collection I just mean like single eyeshadows and then I have some like cream shadows and like bases, not primers, just like, you know. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it because there is a lot and I am going to swatch all of these individually for you as well. Okay, so let's just jump right in onto the video. Okay, so my first single eyeshadow and probably one of my favourites or like most used is the Urban Decay eyeshadow <laughs> in Easy Baked and it is this beautiful golden colour. I really really love this. It is very similar to the one that is in the Naked One palette. I'm not sure about the other ones but this, this one is just truly amazing and I'm pretty sure there's two of them here somewhere. <laughs> okay, the next one is also one of my most used. This is the uh, Steel eyeshadow in... Oh, uh oh, what's that name? Chin... 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 Chinoi... Chinoa... Chin... It's a bunch of letters. Put that one everywhere. <laughs> it's this white, like, bone colour. It's similar to Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in bone. Um, this one is a lot more pigmented though. Very, very, like, not white but like your creamy off-white colour. <laughs> okay, I have these two NYX bases here. One of them is the eyeshadow base in... Do you have a name? Skin Tone. Is that what it's called? Skin Tone? Meh. But it is this colour here, kind of like a brownie skin tone colour, kind of like the name suggests. And then this one is white and it has a bunch of gross in it because I've had this for way too long. Okay, the next two are Benefit eyeshadows. I have this one here which I've ooh, nearly dropped <laughs> that I used in a video before and it's called Getaway. Very, very warm brown. And then this one is absolutely smashed and it is called Moody. Let me open this. Oh, I want to repress that because that's actually a really pretty colour. I like never use this. <laughs> okay, these two are by Calvin Klein and no one really talks about the Calvin Klein beauty range but I actually think these eyeshadows are really good and they're in quite different packaging so I don't really know what's going on here. This one is in 109 Darkened Green it's Tempting Glance Intense Eyeshadow. Okay, so it looks like this and it also has a little mirror in the like in the compact but this is a very, very beautiful colour. I do use that one quite often. And this one is in different packaging. And this one says, Honeymoon, Tempting Glance, Intense Asher. Okay, that's the same thing. Different packaging. I think this one is slightly newer. Also, okay, I think this is Rimmel, but I have no idea. It says Shadow Milano Single in Candlelight. I'm pretty sure this is Rimmel. I think it used to have the little logo in there. But it looks like this. I don't really use this a lot. It's kind of like a light goldenish colour. I don't even know. Okay, this one um, just came as a pan. I. What is this? This is an Inglot eyeshadow in the shade Oro 5. I don't know which one's the shade. OD. I don't know which one's <laughs> the shade. But if you can see past the plastic, it is a very kind of darkish copper colour. Okay, I have two here by Bobbi Brown. I have this lighter one, which is called. Heather, which is a kind of light purple colour. And then I have this one, which is called Black Plum. And I do believe I've used this one in a video before. Very, very beautiful, dark, kind of plumish brown. Okay, I have a kind of eyeshadow stick here by Eli Elise Far. Eli Elise. <laughs> it is in the shade E119. Um, if I can try and wind it up and see, you really can't. Hopefully, you'll see in the swatch. It's like a kind of warmy brownish kind of colour. I don't use this too often, but I do really like the packaging because I like stab people with it. <laughs> these are also two creams by Laura Mercier. I talked about these in my face full of first impressions. This light one does not have a name. I really like to find out so I can put it in the description for you guys. And then this one here is in the shade Peach. These are the Eye Basics, I believe. So there we go. <laughs> I have three Colourpop Super Shock shadows. This one is in the shade Tang. Very, very beautiful colour. Kind of similar to that Bobbi Brown one, except a little darker. I have this one here called Glitterati, and this is an awesome colour. Very, very pretty, kind of silver holographic colour. 
And then the last one, which is in sequin, and this is such a unique colour, kind of like the Inglot one, but a little bit more like bronzy and instead of just copper. I have two Makeup Geek pressed eyeshadow pans here. You can't really see them too well in the little package. I haven't really used them. This one is called Desert Sands, and then the other one is called a Peach Smoothie. There we go. <laughs> Three single eyeshadows here from NARS. This one is called Cypress and the lid is totally broken but it looks like this. Kind of similar to one of those Calvin Klein colours except less green. This one here is in Night Flight I believe. Very very pretty, very 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 dark, almost black blue with lots of shimmer in it. And then this one is in Blondie which is one of NARS's best single eyeshadows in my opinion. I have two Makeup Forever Aqua Cream waterproof cream colours. Uh, this one is in shade 2 which is a very pretty silver colour. These have actually not really dried out that much and I've had these for a long time. And this one is in shade 1 which is a bit of a gunmetal grey colour. I have three Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoos. This one is in the shade Painted Purple. I can't open it. There we go. Very very beautiful purple colour. This one is in Bad to the Bronze. Very similar to MAC Bear Study except a little bit darker. This one is in Bold Gold which is obviously a gold colour. Very pretty. Okay I have four eyeshadows here by Illamasqua. This first one is a cream pigment. And it is in the shade Emerge. Kind of like that Laura Mercier colour in Peach, except this one is a cream. Okay, the first eyeshadow is in, oh, Vern, Vern, not Vern, something. Looks like this, kind of like a camel brown colour. This one is one of my favourites in Heroin, similar to MAC Blondie. And this one is in Succumb. And this is also up there with the Steel eyeshadow. I use this pretty much every day, I used it today. Okay, and the rest are all MAC eyeshadows, so prepare yourself. I'm going to start with the cream colour bases. I know Soft Ochre and Painterly are hiding somewhere, and I just got rid of Bare Study because that one's really dried out, and I'm pretty sure Soft Ochre and Painterly are too, but this one is in the shade Laying Low, which is kind of similar to Soft Ochre except a little bit darker, so it would be a really good colour match for anyone with a darker skin tone that soft ochre is too light for. Okay and this is a paint little paints tube thing <laughs> and this is in the shade Sublime Nature. Kind of like that Illamasqua heroin colour actually except in like a little squeezy tube. <laughs> okay and the rest are all eyeshadows. I'm going to start with this one that's absolutely smashed up. Out, out tray, out, out tray, out tray, out tree. It's something, but it is, I'm not gonna, well I probably shouldn't open it. It's very similar to that camel-y kind of Illamasqua shade. Okay, this one is in Vex, kind of like a cool silvery colour. I don't actually use these quite often, I probably should. Um, this one is in Night Divine, probably one of Mac's most famous colours. This one I've used in the Full Face of Mac video, this is in Rule. Very, very beautiful orange colour. Don't have anything else like it. Now this one I'm wearing a little bit of today. This is in Aquadisiac. Probably also one of the most famous colours. It is very, very unique. Another one of the most famous ones in Satin Torp. You can see most of the ones that I own are probably one of, like some of the most popular ones. This one is in Print. I don't remember that. Looks like carbon, but it's not. It's called print, kind of like a black colour. I don't know, I've never, never seen this before. How did you get there? Oh, this is one of my favourites. This is Shroom, also one of the most popular ones. This one is in Omega, very, very pretty colour, also similar to the Illamasqua Heroin shade. This one is Poison Pen, probably one of the first MAC eyeshadows I ever had. This one is in Electra, oh, very pretty silver colour. I don't even know, I had half of these. This one is in Sumptuous Olive. It is a Velux Pearl. I've never seen this before. It's kind of like that Calvin Klein shade. Kind of like an olive green. This is one of my favourites. Plumage. Very very dark kind of greeny colour. 
It's very unique, greeny, blue-ish. I don't know. This one is in carbon, pretty much a black. It is so bright, you have no idea. Oh my god. Uh, this one is in handwritten. Oh, that's a very pretty brown. And the last one is nylon. So kind of like shroom, except a bit more yellow, and I find this one is a little bit more pigmented. So that is it for all of my single eyeshadows. I will hopefully have a video coming soon of all of my, like, small eye palettes, as in, like, like little quads and stuff. And I'll probably also mix that in with, like, my palettes as well, just so it's not, like, a two-minute video. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching, and I'll see you all next time. Mmm, <gasps> gonna stretch again. <sighs> okay, bye, guys.